Winter is coming to the estuary. The curlews, the sandpipers, the godwits, they've all gone chasing the sun. Here the days grow shorter and colder and I think about their absence. such good systems in the dark. It's a really good test. As night settles on the estuary, the calls of a few locals remain. Swan and Ibis, Spoonbill and Heron. They come to me softly in the night, before the storm, and remind me of absence. I've come back to prepare for the long winter night. To ride the deep blue and purple light. To find a way to keep warm out here on the estuary. Well, we've got an early tide to catch this morning. Otherwise we're going to be stranded, so it's a, what we used to call in mountaineering an alpine start. You're up in the dark and be ready to go as soon as you get a flicker of light. So, And uh, those morning showers, I can hear them, they've just started on the outside of the tent. So, brace yourself and get up and get going. Get some breakfast, pack the boat, and get on the water. And the tide has just gone way, way out. The tide has disappeared over the horizon. I'm looking at acres and acres of mud. So I think I'll be using my, uh, my tow line to hook along and do some dragging this morning. Just till I find some deep water. We're hauling again through soft mud. It's wind and tide and not much else matters in the drowned valley. It's all sand and mud and silt now. And out there, somewhere, is the old river. We've made it to water. Hardest haul I think I've ever done. fishing have ever since I was a kid. My older brother David and I did a lot of fishing in South Australia. Not estuary fishing, just didn't have those estuary systems in South Australia so 
and we never had a boat or kayaks so it was all beach and jetty fishing It's turned and the weather's <laughs> really setting in. It's fizzling pretty hard. So priority is to find, tide's ripping out, priority is to find somewhere I can get a camp and have a bit of shelter. What a nice little channel by these mangroves. The sleeting rain comes and goes, and between the rainbows, a lone eagle watches the locals moving between the tides, across the flats, and along the edges of the old river. So your first line of defence in the wet is, is good gear and uh, trying, to keep, uh, trying to keep your core dry and warm, your core stuff, your sleeping bag, inside your tent, your set of dry clothes. And your second line of defence I reckon is good warm tucker. So I know a lot of people just slam down something cold but now nah, it's got to be nice and hot and warm, a couple of hot brews. That will really help you get through the day. You don't know sometimes whether you're going to get lunch or not. You might be paddling till 2, 3, 4 o'clock, just if the circumstances go that way. In the long winter night, out along the edges between the tides, bear witness to slow moving cycles and absence in an elegy to the estuary. But just all those subtle colours from silver through to mauve through to pink through to through to uh, just the lightest orange and red in the in the upper reaches of the clouds and you offset that against the, the white and yellow of the sand with a hint of green on the, in the sea grasses. Just the softest palette of colour you can imagine. And just everything just slowly, slowly moving. group of gulls up here feeding on the weed down near the or feeding amongst the weed down near the entrance to the estuary juvenile pacific gulls and silver gulls there's a mature pacific gull and a pied oyster catcher i reckon that weed must be full of sea lice that's what they're after The sound of those gulls, that's the sound of my childhood. And sometimes our journeys are marked by loss, and it's the absences we notice most. Absence of friends, absence of talk, absence of birds that have become familiar, and we worry that they won't return from their long migrations and fill the estuary with song once again. But then a familiar call reminds us that here on the edge of the estuary, we need faith. Faith in memory. 
and faith that the great cycles of wing and weather and tide will bring us all home once again. <laughs>